In the last video, we have seen what is the stream analytics services and why we use it and what is the capability and the benefits of the services. In this session, we have going to do a small demo that is taking a JSON file that is put it in the storage account and stream this file and ingest into a destination storage account. The scenario of this demo that I'm going to put a JSON file into a storage account. Next, I'm going to process and ingest the data using the streaming analytic job, insert and load this data into a second storage account. I'm going into my Azure portal, I'm going to create a new uh, research group and in this research group, I'm going to create two services that is the stream analytics and the storage. So for this research, review and create, go to research group and create a storage account, store stream, Europe North, Review and create. I'm going to access to my resource and container. I want to create two container, one for the input, who I'm going to put my JSON file, and one for the output when I am going to store my output. Great. In my output, I'm going to upload. And the next services that I'm going to create that is the Stream Analytics. Stream Analytics job create. Stream job demo. Cloud or Edge. I choose the cloud option. Go to resource. The next step that I'm going to create the output, the query and the output. We start by the input. Create a blob storage input or a AUT hub or event hub. I'm using the blob storage where I put my JSON file. I'm searching for my storage account and the input, the earlier I'm putting input and that's all I'm going to save the creation of the output. I'm going to create the output for the output is a blob storage the current subscription and the storage account is a stream output and here there is uh, an important thing to configure that is a minimum row if I'm putting 5 for example I'm not going to process my job if I have at minimum 5 row and the minimum time for example I'm going to wait one minute to have this condition and I'm going to save the alias its output create and the most important thing is the query the part two I'm going to transform to load the data to the destination here I'm have a preview to have an idea for my input that is my file put in the input container so you can write your uh, SQL statement to transform and to load the data from the source to the destination but here I'm going to change the insert into the output and from the source my source is the input 
and my output is the output container I can test my query here I'm going to insert all this row in my destination but first I'm going to my storage account I'm going to open it in the new tab to delete my file who I put it in the input file and delete and go here to the overview save the query go to overview and start the job you have here two choice to start the job now or to customize the start date I'm choosing now and start start the job in my input I'm going to upload my file upload if I go back and go to my container and the output so nothing is happening now if I go back here um, I have a transaction that is executed so if I go back to the output file here I have my JSON in my output as you see here I always have the JSON file in my input so in this demo we have seen how to input a JSON file into the storage account we have treat and analyze this data and insert this data into the output container